Science 6, Quarter 2, Module 1, Lesson 3. The Digestive System. Don't forget to subscribe! Did you ever wonder how the food we eat breaks down into smaller pieces? This is the work of the different organs of our digestive system. The substances which are needed by our body cannot be absorbed into our blood until they have broken down further into smaller pieces. The digestive system is composed of the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. These organs work together to break down the food we eat into smaller pieces for the use of our body. Whatever you do, you need energy. To have energy, you have to eat. You have learned that you get energy from the food you eat. Before food can be distributed and absorbed by the cells of the body, it must be changed first to soluble materials. The process of breaking down and dissolving the food so that it can be taken into the blood to be used by the body is called digestion. The organs that do work for digestion make up the digestive system. The parts of the digestive system. The digestive system is composed of the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine and large intestine. The process of breaking down the food into a form that can be absorbed for use by the body is called digestion. Digestion starts in the mouth. The teeth cut and grind the food. The saliva, a liquid in the mouth moistens the food and changes starch to sugar. The tylen as an enzyme in saliva helps in the digestion of starch. When the food is swallowed, it enters the esophagus, a long muscular tube that starts from the back of the throat and ends in the stomach. The food is pushed down the esophagus into the stomach by rhythmic, wave-like muscle movements known as peristalsis. The food then travels to the stomach, a muscular pouch that secretes gastric juice. In the stomach, the food is broken down into smaller pieces. The gastric juices in the starch act on the food and split proteins and fats. The food goes to the small intestine, a 7-meter coiled long tube in the lower abdomen where food is finally digested and absorbed. Undigested food goes to the large intestine. The large intestine is also a temporary storage of water. The feces which are the waste product of digestion are stored in the lower part of the large intestine called rectum. The rectum stores this waste until it is eliminated through the anus. Thanks for watching.